Hey y'all, I'm back. Happy New Year. <laughs> I have been gone since my last video I posted in August. <sighs> I really just spent the end of the year of 2021 just trying to really navigate my mental health, my work life, my artistic life, my personal life, all at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> this particular project that I took on, I knew was going to take me months and months and a long time for me to do it the way that I wanted it to turn out. So how this passion project really started off was being at work and discovering these magazines that we sell to customers that are all about the yearly contours. It's really just about the community coming together and sharing their passions. I'm really gonna say that word way too much throughout this video, but just bear with me. <laughs> I'm a very passionate person, I guess. <laughs> they had so many different options and places to go. I obviously couldn't get to all of them, and I just did my best. I really went all out for this. I like literally mapped out by like times, <laughs> by the closest that it was to my place and how close they were and mapped it out and then listed it all. <laughs> and it's funny because I actually considered inviting the person I was dating at the time, but I feel like she would not have had a good time <laughs> because I was like booking it to each pond. It was really hot and I was really trying to hit as many as I possibly could. So I was super tired, didn't want to take any breaks, just like literally traveled from like, Hello. <laughs> I literally traveled from like boop, 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 just kind of planned it all out exactly where I wanted to go, as many as I could go to. There were just tons and tons to see. So a lot of them I took pictures and then later would paint from the picture examples that I had. I wanted to really finalize this whole experience. I really wanted to finalize this passion project of combining my artistic life, my work life, and my newfound passion and love for nature. And here it is. So let me kind of show you what it's like. So this is what it looks like when it's just kind of settled. <laughs> looks very full, lots of different paintings. Everything is done in a four by four. Um, I wanted to capture every little moment that you come upon when you see these ponds, when you see um, these backyards and people's homes, um, different flowers, different sculptures, things that are a part of their displays. <laughs> So this one, for example, is one of my favorite ones I did um, from a picture example. And there's a couple that I actually have here that are from the actual sitting down and, you know, being in the space. Like this one, for example, you know, being around the different flowers and everything. It was just such a great experience and it goes on and on. Like I have so many, so many different ones. Like different color schemes, different perspectives, different things around. This was at the Dallas Park, the big fountain there. I think I have my, I'll put up my time-lapse video of me actually out there by this fountain. It was gorgeous. I recalled watching other artists in the past just set up their travel easels and paint live out in nature, at parks, at museums, outdoor spaces. I really romanticized that idea and I really just wanted to be that artist that just set up real quick and was painting these cute little like four by four paintings just real quick and letting people watch them and something so aesthetically romantic and just enjoyable and relaxing about that. I always just wanted to be that artist for once, you know, just to be outside and be with, be one with the nature and one with the water and just kind of paint what I saw and paint things live, let people watch me or, you know, just kind of pass by. It's such a unique experience that I feel like every artist at some point needs to do that, needs to experience just live setting up and throwing themselves into a somewhat uncomfortable situation. But once you do it, you feel so much better, even with all the mosquito bites and the hot weather and just sweating and <laughs> everything, it's so worth it, at least for me. I, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't really think of me as a very nature girl who would enjoy being around all of the bugs and the plants and the grass, but I adore it. I'm so inspired and I'm so motivated to be more and more part of this community and also paint more. It's like 
One community inspired me to be a part of my other community more and one passion has grown into my other passions I already have or like re-inspire them or re-spark my new passions and re-spark my old passions. It's great. It's just great. It's just great. Yeah. So that's, that's really it. <laughs> <laughs> what do I want to say? I don't know. <gasps> okay, I can't talk. <laughs> I planned out my two day weekend excursion. Is that the right word? Let's just stick with tour for all the. I'm spitting everywhere. Okay.